and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. I'm excited to get into today's video because today we are doing a pick a card to see how are you glowing up right now. So per usual, my Etsy shop is always linked in the description below of every video. If you would like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. Um, pause the video if you need more time with the piles. You can always pick more than one pile for all of my readings. And we're going to jump in. So we have group one with the orange stone. Group two with the red stone. Group three with the blue stone, and group four with the yellow stone. So just take three deep mindful breaths, center yourself, center your intuition, and then pick the pile or the piles you're being called to, and we're just gonna get started. All right, group one with the orange stone. Let's get right into it. How are you glowing up right now? So the first card under your stone we have is trust your intuition. So I see a glow up happening in your life and I feel like you've been intuitively called to whatever area this is. So that'll unfold throughout the reading, but I feel like the glow up that you guys are having, you're having a big role in. It's not something that's randomly happening or occurring in your life. It's something you've been called to for a while and you're either finally having like the strength, courage or circumstance to do it, the opportunity present itself, something like that. Uh, this one says, don't seek advice from others. It's time to go inside instead. You know what's best for you, mind, body, and spirit. Sit in meditation. Walk in the woods. Ask yourself, what do you need? And listen. Tune into your inner guidance. When you get a gut reaction, honor it. You have the answer, and it is safe to trust yourself. Everything you need is already inside you. So absolutely with that, I get a message like, it's, it's already something on the tip of your consciousness. You've been wanting and ready to do this, but you just needed like the perfect set of, set of circumstances to do so. So we'll see as we get more cards, what's going on? What's going up for them, spirit? You guys want something better in love? Oh. I, I see you guys manifesting a new relationship um, and something to do with, I can't quite put my finger on it yet. I can't tell if it's like, it feels like career if I had to say, but it could be life purpose too. We have the eight of water and then we have the emperor. The emperor, logic and organization will increase your success, take charge of your situation, accept a leadership role, structure and discipline. So there may be a um, position opening up in your company that you're working for. This could be a promotion or this could be an energy of you promoting yourself and working for yourself, being like, I'm tired of getting fired or I'm tired of having to kiss up to the boss, having to work for people who are demonic. I'm tired of being in the workforce. You want to work for yourself and you're getting an actual opportunity to do so. Now the eight of cups, time, or it says the need to move on, seeking more from life than you are experiencing, a spiritual quest, choosing to make big changes in life, uh, a change in priorities and leaving home. A lot of times the eight of cups talks about uh, leaving a relationship as well. So there's an energy of you either moving to another city, leaving home, or walking away from your current partner. Now we have balance in the night of water. The night of water, romantic, flirtatious, introspective, a little fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry. So I definitely get an energy of someone new walking into your life romantically and they're exciting you. You're feeling awakened. You're feeling loved for one and that's very different. Oddly enough, I feel like the relationships that you've had, people have not known how to love you properly or they there wasn't an equal give and take. Um, and then balance, uh, blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary, successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. That really feels like you're starting your own business and you're hiring people. So what I can see glowing up in your life, I'm seeing a new relationship or a new, um, something new in love coming in. If you are in a stable, happy relationship, this could be you and your partner getting to the next level, trying new things. I was hearing in the bedroom, <laughs> so there's kind of like this sensual um, awakening happening between the two of you, you guys getting closer with that. Um, but I see a new relationship and then I see you like starting your own, it, it feels, it doesn't feel like a business though. Like it, it's either something that you genuinely love to do to the point where work does not feel like work, like you're making money, you're getting abundance from this, but it does not feel like career. Career sounds too, 
I don't know, left brain to describe this. This is like a, a new journey you're going on that's somehow making you money. So, um, you set some intention. All these cards want to jump out for you, but I haven't set my intention yet. Spirit, for group one, I just feel like you're ready. Like the cards flying out even is like symbolic. It's like you're ready. You don't care what, like you just want to start. You just want to go. Like I feel like you guys are truly ready. So let's see. There's been some blockages though. We got the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. So I feel like you guys have been specifically very conflicted about where to start and how to start. And Spirit is giving you like a perfect opportunity. So this could be an energy of you winning a free course that shows you how to start your own business or like I'm getting a clear cut opportunity to start. Spirit has heard you, I'm hearing, and you've been very confused about where to start or what to do, how to get like the ball rolling, and that is specifically what Spirit is giving you. So it's going to make it a lot easier for you to move forward. Um, but we have the Five of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse. So there's an energy of clearing confusion. There's also an energy of an opportunity or getting a clear sense of direction. We have the Three of Cups and the Strength card here. So I do feel like there has been some lessons that have been learned. This is giving me an energy of you guys. I'm hearing work hard, play hard. There's an energy of you guys meeting new friends, a new group of people, specifically other people though, is coming up. This may be you and two other people are packing up your car and driving to a new state and starting a new life together. This could be an energy of new roommates because I'm getting like this montage of all these like super fun experiences. It looks like one of those videos that, it looks like like a TikTok, you know? When, you know how people will do like a TikTok and it'll be like life lately and it'll have music and different flashes of different restaurants or things that they've done, etc. That's the energy I get with you guys where it's like, that's what I'm seeing. It's like an energy of you really starting over. <clears throat> but you don't want to make the wrong decision. And honestly, the message that I get is spirit just telling you, go for it, do it. Like your life is glowing up in love and also life experiences. I see you starting a business. Business doesn't feel like the right word to describe it. The better word is is probably following your dreams even though you know your dreams can make you money this is an energy of you following your dreams so i see that coming for you but there is a lot of doubt we have the four of cups in reverse and the death card so this is like seven of uh, pentacles wanted to jump out it's like an energy of what if i try and i don't succeed what if i waste my time what if you know things don't end up um working out for me you know we have Wow, we got the devil card, the chariot, and temperance in reverse. So uh, there's definitely devil energy, or it could be people around you. It could be your own shadow trying to convince you that the work you put in um, isn't going to lead you anywhere. But the chariot is moving forward. The chariot is an energy of like really going for it, really doing it, making big changes, success with the chariot, development, positivity. With that devil card there, it's like you have a million and one reasons to believe that things won't work out. We have the bee, which is so interesting because bees are all about collaboration. And I kept getting this energy of like two other people around you or like a new community of friends. Um, the bee says creativity, cooperation, and productivity. You're being guided to change something in your life. Be inspired. Follow your heart and creatively build your future to, uh, with today's decisions. You have no limitations and there are no boundaries to your capabilities. Any assistance you need will be found. So that is the energy that I get for you guys as far as what's glowing up for you in your life. Definitely seeing a new partner come through. A couple options in love. It feels very sex in the city. Like it feels like you're going to have multiple options. Um, but I'm seeing new friends if you don't have any. And those friends are allowing you to, um, to pursue your dreams. There's an opportunity coming through as well for specifically you to pursue your dreams. Or to start a business of sorts. But it's like something you're very passionate about. Something that you can wake up and do every day. Whether or not you're getting paid. But you will be getting paid. So that is what I have for you. You can hit me up on Etsy in the description if you want a private tarot reading, but that was your spread. I'll talk to you later. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, 
transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. All right, group two with the red stone, let's get right into it. How are you glowing up right now? So the first card we have under your stone is confidence. So it's looked like your confidence is growing. You guys may be listening to like confidence-based subliminals or subliminals that has to do with like your magnetism, your attraction, your uh, ability to attract what you want to you. This one says it takes courage to put your butt on the line and go for it. And it's the best way to strengthen your confidence to put yourself out there. Who cares what other people think? Everybody starts somewhere and don't worry about making mistakes because you can always cor course correct. But you'll never know unless you try. And the more you do, the more confident and successful you'll become. When you shine, we're all inspired to do the same. So there's an, there's an energy here of you guys doing something that people around you have not done before. You may be part of an organization or a religion and you're thinking of walking away from that religion or you may be like, you may have dreams to leave your current city. You may have dreams to break some sort of generational curse, like do something different that your bloodline or people in your family have not done. Let's see what else we get. Ooh, we got the king of water and we got the king of water. That is a true pair. You may be really wanting to get married where it's like in your family, there may be a bunch of failed messages. I'm getting what you're looking for is also looking for you, but it is hidden. It is concealed. We have the eight of wands, which is very fast moving energy. And we have the moon, which can lead to a lot of confusion. Oh, we have the star, the star and the moon. Wow. A lot of cosmic force, a lot of cosmic energy. There is so much going on in your life right now. So much that you want to manifest. And I feel like you guys may be getting like analysis paralysis. Like there are so many ways your life could go right now. So many things you could focus on. So many things you could do that you're like frozen. So let's just break it down. What I can say is you're attracting to you a marriage. So what area of your life is glowing up? Definitely the love department. And I love how the queen and the king of cups, they're facing each other. Um, the king of water, trustworthy, honorable, devoted, and cautious, someone that you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic, well, uh, a solid romantic re relationship. Now, this is funny. It says hidden, but well-intentioned emotion. So I was getting that energy with you guys where it's like a lot is hidden from you right now. I get an energy of spirit wanting you to say it with your whole chest or do it with your whole chest. You want like marriage, ask for it all the way. Don't just hint towards it. Don't manifest love, whatever comes. Don't be open to whatever. Be honest with people about what you're looking for up front. <clears throat> A charitable benefactor and counseling. Okay, the queen of water, loving, compassionate, psychic, and self-sacrificing. Deep psychic insights, caring for others, but uh, caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition. A deep love of family and friends, and follow your heart. So what you're looking for is also seeking you. It's like you're waiting for him; he's waiting for you, or vice versa. Like you're waiting for the person that's also waiting for you. Perhaps there's some initiative to take. We have the three of fire or um, the three of wands planning for the long term abundance from past choices, pride and success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. So spirit is saying, I think it's time to like slow down and set some completely new intentions because the things that you've already put into motion are exactly that. They are in motion. They're already coming towards you. Um, love is a huge one and I feel like some sort of investment you've made is about to start to um, like come like so like if you invested in a business you're gonna start to get customers whatever you've already invested in is already in motion so spirit is kind of saying all right it's time to like set new intentions we have the eight of fire and the star <clears throat> 
the eight of fire says too much going on stress caused by many positive opportunities that's that analysis paralysis it's like you could you could go anyway right now and all the ways are going to be successful so it's kind of putting you in this position where you like you don't know what to do it's like act natural <laughs> and um what i can say is you're got you guys are about to have a winning season group too <clears throat> unexpected events or rapid changes the ability to multitask in business travel so some business travel may link you up with a business bay who knows um we have the star have faith that the future is bright dreams come true positive changes that bring the end to challenging times the light at the end of the tunnel so spirit is saying like you can honestly release all that past pain past hurt discomfort is finally about to be worth it now here's the tricky card we got the six of water Typically when you see the six of water, that means someone from the past is coming back. And unless this is like you're the person you're gonna end up with romantically, I don't know. Children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of past people or romances, romanticizing how things used to be. So, you know, there may be someone coming in your life saying like, how, why didn't we work out? What I can say is trust your intuition. One of these cards said it was the queen of water. If you are a Cancer, have a lot of Cancerian energy, like a Cancer Moon or a Cancer Venus, I would take that as your card here. Um, trust your intuition. You know, you'll know if this is someone trying to grasp at straws, like their last chance to be happy or experience abundance, or if this is like the person you've been waiting for. <clears throat> So trust your intuition on that. We have the moon and then we have the queen of earth. The queen of earth, generous, practical, gracious, and materialistic. The ability to make anything more beautiful. A love of family and home. Be practical, practical about how you proceed. A sensible approach of love of art and beauty. You may be coming into some money and spirit is saying, don't spend it all at once, like literally. You may have an earth moon placement, like a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, moon. Um, and then we have the moon itself. Listen to your intuition. That's the third sign, okay? Listen to your intuition. It's very important right now. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. So how is your life going up? Literally in every single area imaginable, basically, for you guys group two. This is like a really good pile. I haven't had such a good reading in a long time. Um, you guys got a lot of positive energy. <clears throat> Six of Cups in reverse, Justice and the Three of Swords in reverse. So someone is coming back to right their wrongs. People of the past coming back, I would say people coming back to apologize, but that doesn't mean that you have to extend them like, uh, uh, like another opportunity. The ball is in your court and it's going to be up to you. We have the judgment card and it came out sideways. So typically when cards come out sideways, that means it could go either way or it's up to you. Like you get to make a choice. You decide how things go. So you can decide to give this person a chance or not. I feel like you guys are more wanting new energy and just to completely start over because right after the judgment card came the lovers in reverse. So I feel like you guys are open to new love and that's what you're trying to do. Like you're trying to manifest the new, 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 new. Like you're not with that old, you don't want it. We got the hang one in reverse, but we have the sun at the bottom of the deck. So spirit is saying, just be open at this time because your life is about to completely change. Honestly, it's like, okay, what area of your life is blowing up? Love is blowing up. You're meeting like your divinely guided partner. They're looking for you already and it's already in motion. You don't have to manifest it. We have the star. The star typically brings in like all sorts of opportunities. So I do see an opportunity either to move or to start a new business. Your business you've already planted your feet in and, and made plans for is finally becoming fruitful. Like there's a lot coming in for you guys. It's looking like a winning season for real. And that is what I have for you. You can hit me up on Etsy if you want a private tarot reading, but that was your reading today. I'll talk to you later. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. All right, group three with the blue stone. Let's get right into it. What area of your life is glowing up right now? So we have, ooh, we have you did it. So this is looking like success on the things that you have been manifesting, success on the things that you've kind of already been expecting to have some sort of 
like um abundance come through at this time hooray success is here or just around the corner you've worked hard and your efforts are currently paying off that's exactly what i meant like things that like seeds you've already planted finally starting to bloom and blossom uh, congratulate yourself and truly savor this fantastic victory. Remember, success comes in cycles, so we can be on top of our game 24-7. We succeed, celebrate, rest, renew, and then succeed again. So know where you are in this journey. You did it before, and you will do it again. So there's an energy here of things getting really, really good for you. <clears throat> A lot of content creators go through this. I've went through this, where it's like things are going crazy. Everything's seeming like you're getting all these followers and success, and then things slow down then you may lose people and then it goes up again and, and it's in cycles so spirit is saying like you know I feel like this point in your journey taught you to be comfortable uncomfortable to be comfortable even when things aren't like turning up and going crazy going stupid <clears throat> and seeming like crazy successful for you I gotta check Just listen I felt a hair I'm like hold on what's going on I had to check for spiders chat Let's see what else is going on for you guys. Everybody else I'm sure was like, <laughs> all of you guys like, well, let me check this side as chat. Oop. I'm not gonna take all of those, but a lot of positive energy from what I can see. There's a lot of positivity that wants to come into your life. And I feel like, we'll see. Spirit, show me the cards for group three. all the seeds that you've planted <clears throat> and then i'm hearing tailored to your journey so spirit is being very specific about you already knowing what's coming for you in a way like spirit is saying the things that you've been manifesting are already coming you know and a lot of you have been doubting your journey so we have balance in the five of water uh, balance says blending the ideas of your other uh, sorry blending the ideas of yours with others to create something extraordinary successful compromise the power of diversity self-control patience and balance so for now i really feel like things are really quiet for you and you've been trying to be patient for so long and spirit is saying like things have already uh, already been set in motion i keep getting this energy of you guys continuing to work like you still have to manifest this or continuing to like um do this manifestation or do something but it's already coming like it's already happened everything is already here there's an energy of like spirit saying you need to set some new intentions because you're feeling like something isn't coming but it's like it was already it was always set to happen at a certain time and you keep wanting it here now or something like that the five of water, focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self or others, everything happens for a reason and looking for hidden blessings. Yeah, I get this energy of you guys saying, not just I want to manifest love, but I want to man manifest love by August 1st. And then so August 1st path and you st you're still not in a relationship. So you're feeling like, well, love isn't coming. Let me manifest again. And then you're ruining your, like, your plans. Someone has manifested um like marriage or a long-term relationship but now you're feeling like doing a glamour spell or an attraction spell or like a jezebel work that would bring you um a bunch of love offers but spirit is saying that's going to distract you from your person that you're manifesting so that's going to make things worse like like spirit is giving me this energy where it's like i know you want things to pop off like right now i know you want things to to have popped off like yesterday but You've already done the work. Let it be that. Set new intentions and don't focus on it because you keep assigning time frames and it's going to make you go rogue. It's going to make you start to deviate from the path, from the plan. It's going to mess things up. Um, the Eight of Earth says, learning all you can about a subject or a career, going back to school, taking a seminar, finding a mentor, attention to detail, skilled work that you love. So what I can see for you guys manifesting at this time, I do feel a relationship, but I also feel like some sort of change in home, like you may be moving. Um, 
And then I just get this energy of like, set it down. I keep hearing set it down. Like you're, you got the candles in your hand and you're about to manifest something again. And spirit is like, set them down, set it down. We got the release card and the wheel. I think I showed you these. Release says endings that lead to new beginnings, the need to release, release situations or people that hold you back, spiritual transformation. So as above, so below, as you spiritually transform and as you go through these ascensions spiritually, it's going to start to reflect in your daily life. So maybe you're focusing so much on the physical and spirit is saying, work on the physical or sorry, work on the spiritual and you'll actually start to see things change. You're either focusing on the wrong thing right now or focusing on something that's already in motion and already done. And from what I can see, it's some sort of new start. It feels like a new job and a new home. A fresh new start and the end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle. So I felt the traveling energy super strong. Uh, this one says a new vehicle though positive change in your life see and that's why I feel like spirit was being so quiet in the beginning because I'm having a hard time putting my finger on okay spirit tell me like tell me what's glowing up in their life but it really will depend person to person on what you're manifesting spirit is saying well what have you been manifesting what have you been asking for that's exactly the answer to your question so it is going to be different from person to person of cups i feel like you guys have been wanting to feel better about yourself also we have the empress so you've been working on your confidence your magnetism and your ability to manifest without tools like your ability to just attract to you what it is that you want your sense of self is really getting a lot stronger and i feel like that's why spirit's pushing you towards the spiritual glow up <clears throat> Yeah, we have the high priestess in reverse. Spiritually, the more you go up spiritually, the more you're going to see reflected in your 3D. There's only so much you can do with this eight of swords with what you have right now. With your vibration or with your, like, where you are spiritually, there's only so much you can do. So Spirit is saying, get that book. Spirit is saying, read that book. That book you have on spirituality that you bought, read it so you can actually start to grow and level up. Um... <clears throat> I recommend The Complete Idiot's Guide to Alchemy. That's a beautiful place to start for anyone wanting to get into spiritual, spirituality, not knowing where to go. The Bhagavad Gita is considerably harder to read, and it comes in a set of two books that are extremely thick. But that's for, like, if you're really ready to turn it up to the next level, but don't buy it if you're not ready because, you know, shoot, I, even have, I haven't even touched that book in a couple of months because I read so much of it. And then my body was like, we're not going to consume any more of this content for a while. So that's one of those that help you in a life type of way, like over time, really help you grow. But that's another one, the Bhagavad Gita. You can find that on Amazon. We have the King of Swords, Three of Swords in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So I see your life getting easier and things getting, um, I see you healing and things getting easier for you. Life getting easier. It's like, you know, I, I really feel like a move is happening here. Also, for those of you who have been like taking the bus or public transportation, um, I see you either moving to a place that has like a grocery store at the, at the bottom level or connected to your building, or I see um, you getting like a new car, better transportation. So we have the Two of Swords in reverse and the Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse. Spirit is saying stop manifesting and it's time to allow things to come in. That is what I have for you. You can hit me up on Etsy if you want a private tarot reading, but that was your reading today. I'll talk to you later. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. All right, group four with the Yellowstone. Let's get right into it. What area of your life is glowing up next? How are you glowing up next? So the first card under your stone is tell the truth. Uh, this one says communicate with integrity. You may need to level with someone. This person could even be you. Are you saying that you're fine when you don't mean it? Are you swallowing your needs because you don't want to rock the boat? When we hide the truth, it eventually comes out in destructive ways. Act with integrity, but say what's on your mind. While honesty may lead to short-term discomfort, your long-term peace and happiness will be worth it. Ooh. What do you really want? What do you really need? 
do you really have enough? These are all questions that I feel you asking yourself right now and questions that are being asked of you right now from the divine. Because your angels are saying you're telling this person that you're fine and you're okay. You're putting that energy out into the universe that you're perfectly fine with what it is that you have. But at the same time, it like energetically and your soul and your spirit says different. You're craving more. You want more. So there's this energy of you guys needing to be real about it and spirit really challenging you to be honest about what you do and do not have, what you do and do not need, what you're looking for so that you can really level up. We got strength, the three of water and the five of water. Strength says personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing then you're strong, that you're stronger than you knew. So immediately I get this energy where you guys are kind of afraid to tell someone what you're really thinking, but I just get this energy where it's like the truth will set you free. Your next blow up depends on whether or not you're honest with yourself about what you want. I, 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 I say this all the time, like I used to have such a huge throat chakra block in a relationship and up until a year after that I couldn't even say out loud what I really wanted, you know, and I'm someone who's always been like so free and I'm someone who's always been very woo woo. Like I don't care about talking to other people about the spiritual experiences I have and what I do, but I got to a point after that relationship where I couldn't even tell my guides honestly what I was looking for because I was shame I was ashamed of wanting more. I was ashamed of being in a relationship for so long where I didn't get enough. So there's just this energy with you guys where it's like, you know, there may be a throat chakra block with someone specifically or with your guides, with spirit, like you're afraid to admit or you feel wrong for um, wanting more, you know, you're afraid to say what it is you truly want, you know what I mean? You're trying to convince yourself or others that you're comfortable or content with what you have, but you're not. And as soon as you're, you're honest, you're going to have like an actual breakthrough. Um, the three of water says news worth celebrating joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancy or graduation and time for gratitude, close communities or chosen families. I'm picking up on the energy of one person who is pregnant right now who doesn't want to be and you better do something while you can. That's all I'm going to say because listen, keep it a stack with yourself. Okay, listen, keep it, keep it real. I, it's a hard decision. But um, time is running out is what I'm feeling with that. And it's just like, look at this person, the other person who would be the parent. Do, do you genuinely feel like you can survive that for 18 years? And does that child deserve that? Okay. We have the five of water. This one says focusing on the negative things not turning out the way you anticipated forgiveness or of self and others. Everything happens for a reason and look for the hidden blessings. So I feel like you guys are feeling like uh, a bit like it's almost like you're punishing yourself, though, because I'm like you feel like spirit's punishing you, but spirit isn't punishing you. Spirit is being very stern with you, like you have to tell spirit what it is that you want and be honest about that. But um. There's an energy here of you guys kind of feeling like you know the the universe is is like coming down on you and punishing you and what I feel is like it really feels like in a relationship I feel like you guys are in a relationship or in a situationship that is so negative that it's attracting other negativity to you. Spirit isn't throwing things in your, your path, making it worse for you. Spirit is waking, waiting for you to make a decision about whether or not you want to continue to be with this person. But the energy that I'm getting here is like, you guys are feeling like spirit is punishing you. And that's not the case. It's like that situation you're in is attracting more negativity and there is a way out. But the the way out is 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 out, you know? We have to completely put this relationship to bed. If you want to get to this point where you're back at star position, getting to this point where you're back, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say in God's good graces, but when you're receiving abundance, you have to get away from this thing that's pulling down your energy and your vibration. 
your next glow up is gonna be to get away from a toxic person, get out of a toxic relationship, getting out of a toxic environment and healing from it. And you're going to reactivate the flow of abundance in your life because this being a, like telling you being around this person or dealing with whatever it is you're dealing with is like causing your, your energy to be all messed up. It's dragging you down. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit is saying they're never going to let you go. They benefit from you. Why would they let you go? No, they don't love you, but they're still there with you because they benefit from you. You're busting it open for them. They don't got to get a new body to have, you know, some sexy time. Um, they get your energy, your attention. You get all pretty for them. Literally, what negative are they getting from the situation like and i feel like some of you guys screaming at this person like why don't you let me go if i'm so toxic why are you still feeding duh because you're giving up the box like let's use common sense here <laughs> sorry i really hate that freaking song it's not you it's the song it's so annoying it's catchy but it's just like annoying so we have the eight of cups and the knight of wands in reverse what i see for you guys the next area of your life that is glowing up. I do see a lot of endings, but I do see a lot of beginnings. I see you guys meeting up with like your tribe, like your spirit family. And I see you kind of breaking a generational curse by getting out of this relationship as well. Um, and again, this doesn't have to be romantic. It can be a, um, it can be like a job. It can be shoot you getting away from your family. It could be you getting out of that city that you feel trapped in as well. We have the King of Wands and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So you don't have to do this with force. You have to do this with honor, with courage, and with determination. You know, you don't have to cuss everybody out on the way out. But Spirit is saying, you know, there is time for an ending here. And the thing is, I feel like other, I feel like other people, they're like, they're what they can attract and they're, how, how can I say this? Like their possibilities for their life kind of bled into your possibilities for your life. So by being around these people and by entertaining certain relationships, you've attracted all that they could manifest. Like that was never your life. You have to leave them where they are, you know? And I feel like that may be in poverty in some way. We have the elephant affectionate intelligent and physical strength more strength energy like seriously so much strength energy you're being guided to focus on the relationships in your life that bring you harmony stability and opportunity also un unconditional love there is no obstacle that can hinder your forward movement you possess limitless mental and physical strength so i'm i'm picking up like if if you'll let them they will still have you this job this relationship this family member will continue to like abuse your time your energy waste your time your energy and take from you if you allow them to so you're gonna have to like stand all the way up and it's gonna take some courage and strength and bravery and it's gonna be hard but you're going to reactivate your flow of abundance like i feel like you guys are in a toxic or narcissistic relationship and it's like putting you in a different vibration because it's like every like you've already you've always been meant for like like just a stream of blessings never having to want for anything and and i feel like someone watering you down and like telling you that you just like the attention and like i don't know i'm just getting like a lot of toxic energy and it's like but you are that like that star like you don't have to try you don't your life is naturally meant to be abundant and to reactivate that we're gonna have to get out of the situation that we're in so that is what I have for you. That is your spread. You can find me on Etsy in the description if you want a private tarot reading. But that was your reading today. I love you. Be careful what you wish for. And I'll see you in the next one. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more.